It has been 54 days, but the man who was detained by ICE last month after delivering pizza to a military base is back home with his family on Long Island. Pablo Villavincencio's case drew national attention when he was threatened with deportation despite having no criminal record and being married to a U.S. citizen. Late yesterday, a judge said he could stay, but there's more that he still has to do. Eyewitness News reporter Stacey Sager talked to Villavincencio at his home today in Hempstead. They say it was the first night his children had slept in weeks. And if you ask Pablo Via Vicencio how he feels about being home. They uh, enjoy them, my family. I, I, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, in the gang, enjoy my family. <laughs> his joy, hard to contain, because he feared he'd be deported. Via Vicencio was detained by ICE after doing his job delivering pizza here at the Fort Hamilton Army Base last month. The Ecuadorian immigrant had entered this country illegally back in 2008. Then, after meeting his wife, who is a U.S. citizen, failed to comply with an agreement to leave in 2010. Maybe he was afraid that something like this can happen, and maybe that is the same feeling that a lot of people have. And so he was detained by ICE for the past 53 days, his case catching the attention of many because Via Vicencio had done nothing other than his job on the day he was detained. A federal judge has ordered that Via Vicencio be released, said he can live here in Hempstead while he pursues legal residency. So what are the ramifications for other cases like this? And are there any political ramifications? This is the so-called pizza delivery man case which in many ways was just a metaphor for the, the obnoxious behavior of ICE and the ruthlessness of this president. I love it. This country is the best country in the world. But this administration, I don't know what happened. He tells us he knows nothing is guaranteed. What he does know is that today he feels complete. In Hempstead, I'm Stacey Sager, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.